Hi, my name's Chris Fierce King. Today I'm going to take you through eCopy ShareScan using the XML import file with the Folder Watcher service. So, what we've got here, we've got a couple of test files. We have a PDF and we have an XML file. We can take a look in the XML file. We've got two nodes in there the first node, file name, and then the second node, folder. We're going to use the information contained within the XML file to not only name the file, but also route the file to the appropriate location. We have an output folder where we'll see the documents and we have a watched folder that we're going to drag uh, these documents into. Actually, we'll take a copy and we'll pop them into the watch folder. Uh, we have a ShareScan service already started and we're going to expect that ShareScan is going to pick those up almost immediately. So if we just hit clear here, we can see straight away the uh, documents being bought into the ShareScan system. And if we just switch back to the watch folder, we can see that they've disappeared. Um, so they're in process. They're not yet in the output folder. And as we switch back and forth between ShareScan, uh, the, just the uh, activity monitor there, um, waiting for this document to be uh, actually created. As soon as, it's, uh, as soon as it's finished the process, we'll switch back. So we can see it's finished the process. We can see we've got a folder named and we've got a file that's named appropriately. We actually use the, uh, the, the, the test file name and some, uh, some other elements uh, within, the, uh, within the file name. We just take a quick look in the copy lookup extender how that how that works. So we can see the code, very very simple code, just to bring in the XML file along with the uh, along with the file, uh, the PDF file. As long as they're named the same, we can actually uh, make sure that, that that they come in. What we're doing here, we're just going to copy the XML. Just is just for testing. We're going to hit test. When we paste it in here and with the value and hit the, hit the execute button, we'll expect to see our test file name. And likewise with the uh, with the folder, if we just go and paste the uh, if we hit test and we just paste the uh, value of the XML file, we're looking for the folder node this time. And when we hit uh, paste and hit execute, we'll actually see that we get our test folder. So that's how ShareScan works. It actually picks up those values out of the XML file. We just want to make sure that we need to uh, to make sure that we can have uh, that multiple values there and make sure that the connector oh sorry this extender is in express mode so we're not displaying any uh, any screens and the icon there has to be gray if it's a colored icon um, it, it basically you can't change it now but if it's a colored icon it means that it's uh, in uh, in uh, interactive mode um, whereas if it's gray it's in express mode so basically we have our we have a folder and we can see if we go into subfolder routing that we're using a uh, published key. So we're actually using the value of that XML uh, node within uh, within the, the folder hierarchy. And again, with the file naming, we're just one of the elements there is, uh, is just making up the, the entire file name, which we're getting from XML. So we can see, and if we scroll down on the on the right there, that we've actually enabled that uh, that service, the eCopy Lookup Extender, against our connector. So that's that we know that in real time that service is going to run, and those values will be uh, available to uh, the, the folder and the file naming. If we take a look now, how that uh, watcher service actually. Um, looks like we can see that we're monitoring a folder, so we've got our watched folder. Um, we can tell it how long uh, we, we, you know, how often we poll that folder. We can tell it the scheduling interval, and um, then if we go into the rule, we can actually tell it specifically that we want to look for a set of document types, and we can um, edit those. And uh, we can also then decide which connector we run when we've got a document. In this case, um, it's, our, it's our quick connect there. So that's how it hangs together. Very, very simply. It's uh, really easy to use. And uh, I'd like to thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a friendly TC.